Hello crafters, I'm Dan B and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I'm going to change my colour scheme. So I'll start off with the colour, uh, the cardstock that you're going to be needing. This is Pool Party. So the card base needs to be eight and a quarter inches by five and three quarter inches, scored and folded at five and one eighths. That's 21 centimetres by 14.5 centimetres, scored at 10.5 centimetres. Then you need two pieces of Whisper White. One is for the inside, um, and they should measure four inches by five and five eighths inches, which is 10.25 by 14.25 centimetres. Then you need a piece of designer series paper. This is from um, Serene Sceneries and I'm not quite sure which side I'm going to have at the moment I suspect it's going to be that side um, but that measures three and seven eighths inches by five and one half five and a half inches which is ten centimeters by fourteen centimeters then you need another piece of pool party and this measures three and three eighths inches by four and one eighth inches which is 8.6 by 10.5 centimetres. A piece of Whisper White, which measures three and a quarter inches by four inches, which is 8.3 by 10.2 centimetres. Then you need a very thin strip of full party, which I seem to have lost. Oh no, here it is. Right, um, on the measurements, I've put down an eighth of an inch by four inches. Um, it doesn't really matter how wide this is. Um, mine's just over sixteenth of an inch, I think, but it was a off cut that I had, so I thought I'd make the most of it. Um, inside this one, this one's too large. Um, that well, I don't know how wide it is, but that looks too wide. I'd much rather have the thinner one. Um, but choice is yours. As I say, it doesn't really matter what size you have. And then you need another piece of um, pool party. Um, this is to punch out the hearts and those that are inside um, and I've put here that you need a piece that's one and a half inches by five and a half inches now that really depends on which hearts you want um, if you want all of those sizes then you'll need to do two lengths but if like me in here you do the smaller ones in between I think you'll get away with just one punch right so the reason I decided I'm going to make a video of this is because this stamp set which is called Thankful Life uh, which is actually a hostess gift, uh, a hostess um, stamp set um, it's actually three step stamping to do this um, the vase full of flowers um, and it took me a bit of time to work out what were the best bits to line up to make sure that I got the stamping all correct um, uh, I did it in the end obviously and I thought I'd share it with you how I do it. There will be other ways um, but this is my way. So when I'm choosing my colours first of all what I do is I get myself a scrap piece of paper and I start playing. Um, on this one I knew that I wanted to use this designer series paper and that's tip top taupe. So that was going to be my colour for the second stamping and for all the time I use this I do the paper ads for the leaves so that left me to choose another colour in between. So that one was rose red, that was cherry cobbler, sweet sugar plum and flirty flamingo. I decided to go for the rose red which on our Whisper White cardstock has come up a much much better colour than on this scrap of paper um, but you might find it useful to do that um, I thought, oh there's another one that I did which I haven't actually used on a card yet um, but I really was experimenting there to see what it would look like to have dark brown flowers I quite like it but I don't know that I like it enough to put it on a card right so what I'm going to do the first stamp I'm using is going to be the stamp for the leaves. Let's see, if, can you see this? Right, okay. Um, with the two leaves up at the top here, 
those there I just make sure those come towards the top of my cardstock all of the the three stamps have all got this pointy bit at the top so at least you know the right direction to put your stamp in um, this is the two leaves up here okay so I've gone as close to the top there as I can without actually coming off the top so that's what I'm going to do first of all as I say this was pear pizzazz this is the easy one there's no lining up to be done apart from putting it to the top of your cardstock right okay and I'm just going to place this as close in the center as I can give it a press then that's up one done normally when I do three step stamping or two step stamping um, I would normally say that it's best to do your darkest colour first but that's not always practical I always look for my darkest colour first to see if I can do it from that side if it, I can work it then great if I can't I just go on to the next one and I've definitely found that doing it this way on these on this stamp set is best now I'm using pool party now what I'm going to do to line this up let's move that out of the way for a moment I'm going to put my elbow in it now you can see that there's that round ring of sir, uh, ring of little dots there and there's also one here as well they are going to line up with that star there and that star there um, was that the only two things that I know I know what else I was lining up once you've got those two lined up you will also see that you have I said that's better on here you've got a little bunch of five stems with little leaves on and you've also got another one down here so what I do is I get these two lined up first and they don't go on perfectly so once you've got them lined up have a look at these two to make sure your flowers are in place what I normally find is I get these two lined up and then I have to twist my um, stamp slightly to get them all done okay so I'm going to ink my uh, stamp again because all that talking is going to dry this and I'm going to have to bring this as close as possible to me so that hopefully I can do this without getting my head in the camera hopefully you're going to be now if I'm going to let you see this I've got to come up a bit right okay so I'm going to go for the stars first okay so they're in place don't know if you can see that on screen um, now my flowers are quite oh yes they are that's all lined up beautifully I think right I'm going for it this one wasn't that's not too bad Can you see how I've missed it there with the flowers? But I've got it pretty good on that one. So with all the others, I'm quite happy to leave it. I mean, that one's onto that green nicely. That's lined up, that's lined up. Um, you know, with these two and three step stamps, I don't believe you'll get perfection. Um, but at the end of the day, they are handmade. Now the next colour I'm using is Bermuda Bay. Now this is actually my darkest one I think. Now what I'm going to do with lining these up is put the point at the top. <laughs> that flower there, that big one, and that flower there, 
that one there, are the two that I line up first. I'll show you where I line those up, all right, so that's that one and that one. And then I just check to make sure those three are lining up. And the final thing is that top flower there, that one, it's got to go in between the two leaves there. All right, so what you have is on the two flowers, you're going to line one up so it fits in there and the other one's going to fit in there. Just make sure that the three flowers that I showed you are lining up here and then your top flower in there. Okay, so, oh, I've got a hair on there. Right, let's try that. And try not to put your um, stamp on your ink pad too much so that you get a lot of ink all on the bit that you're not be stamping because it does block your view. Right, now, first of all, I'm going to do this flower up here. See my touch? Yeah, the touching the right one there. And I can see that going down towards the leaves. Now, this one I need to turn. They look right. The group of three look okay. And I've got a flower going in between the two leaves. There we go. So I've gone down. There we go. So that flower lined up with those leaves. That one sort of lined up with the leaves there. These three flowers have more or less lined up and you've got that one in between. So that I'm really pleased with, I'm happy with that. Right, so that is basically what I wanted to show you by doing this video. Um, now I'm going to do the vase. Now on this one I used the um, equivalent of pool party. but I think maybe it would be better, oh, not quite sure. Yes, I think I'll stick to the pool party one. Because I really think I'm going to stick with that. Yes, definitely. Right, now, this is the stamp that's the vase. It's a nice solid stamp. And it's also got this one, which gives you a shadow is the vase and that shadow line down there. As you can see there's plenty of Wink of Stella on here as well. Okay so, pool party. Now all I try and do with this is to put my vase in here and try not to stamp over any of the flowers because the flowers will show through. In fact that doesn't look as if it's going to um, come up dark enough does it? Let me just test that on a scrap piece of paper. If you've ever got any doubts about whether your colours are going to be correct or anything, do test it. Oh that's quite nice. Oh yes that's fine. So let's bring that back in again and let's go for this. Gosh, there's a hair on there. Oh, what a nuisance. It's a bit late now. Um, I'll sort that out later. I'm not going to try and do it now. Um, right, okay, so I'm happy with that. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this bit now, aren't I? That's really thrown me off my uh, track now. So all you do with this, I do it tone on tone. So it comes up darker, but not so dark. It would have been far too dark if I tried using the uh, Bermuda Bay. Right, 
Okay. Um, so I'm going to start layering all of this. So I need that, that. I'll do this one first so that I can check that properly. Um, so it's going to be Tombow. You can use Snail or Fast Fuse. Still got that hair stuck to it. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this colour combo on here. Oops, no, no, no. Pushed that too far over. Let's try that again. close to the top but I'm not going to worry. Um, so this is what my card's going to look like. And then like that or do I want that? Do I quite like that? Um, yeah, I'm going to go for that. I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> I was so convinced that this um, circle per pattern would be the ideal one. But you just never can tell. This pack of um, Designer Series Paper Serene Scenery, I overlooked it several times because I've got this thing about not liking paper that's meant to be a scene of something. Um, but there was one design that I did see and I thought that was just absolutely fabulous and I thought, well, I'll get that set anyway. And I'm so pleased I did. They've got some beautiful designs in there. I've seen several of the designs used for the um, beautiful U stamps. So it just looks absolutely fabulous. There we go. Right, what I'm going to have to do now, because what I didn't think about was doing this here. In pool party, I don't think it's going to notice. So what I will do is I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay. This can be a disadvantage for changing my colour scheme when I'm about to show you how to make, or at least how I've made a card, because I haven't actually done it in this colour scheme before. Whereas if I was just copying that, I know that it would work. Right, so I'm using the thank you stamp. You can make this any greeting you want it to be, and it comes from the any occasion stamp set which was one of our celebration sets. This also is um, a two-step stamping set in as much as that thank you just about fits inside that thank you there. I tried it once, it was so close I decided not to try again um, but you have got this 
ribbon here, um, string, whatever, you can put that here and then hang this as if it's banners or you can put it down and then rest one of the others onto it. Um, loads of possibilities. These bits up here you could use that as a bow, that's as the tassels and that's as the bow part. It's a very versatile stamp set that one. Right now I said I was going to use um, Bermuda Bay with this which reminds me of something else now. I keep changing my mind. I've got the um, piece of paper ready for the um, pool party hearts and I'm thinking that I now need to have Bermuda Bay. Right, let's get that inked up and I'm just going to put this about halfway in that gap there. There we go. The end looks as if it's gone missing there. So therefore this is not a good idea to use this design, I don't think. Right now I need some Bermuda Bay uh, cardstock which I can just about reach from here. Just bear with me while I get my folder and just get a scrap. Right, this will be enough. And I'm using the confetti heart punch. And I rather liked what I did on the other one with the narrow, um, the small hearts. Uh, yeah, the big and small hearts. So, oh. I think I might get away with, uh, how many did I do? There's four on the outside and four inside. So that's eight big ones, which I think you get here. Yep, and then I would just need some little ones. One, two, three, four. I think that's right as well, isn't it? Oh no, three, I only need them. Okay, so I'm only going to do one, but if you wanted all big um, hearts, you'd need to do two lots. Right, okay, so I'm going to just finish off getting the rest of this together. And I'll use my silicon mat. And what I'm going to do with, oh, not that one, let's try this one. Um, with my Tombow, can, yes, I'm just going to put a little um, blob onto my mat here and I'm going to just pick one of the hearts up with my tweezers, just put, and just bounce it down like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Yep. So what I want to do is to aim these hearts towards the corner and all this glue on the um, silicon mat that will all wash off quite quite easily. Okay so there's those two. And then two on this side. Oops, that's oozed out quite a bit. So scoop that up with the uh, tweezers and then wipe it off on some kitchen roll. Let's take another one. There we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? I'm not going to go over all my flowers and the vase and everything with my Wink of Stella because it would just take too long. But I would just do the hearts. Anyway, I've got to decide what I'm going to do about that. I'll be posting this video tomorrow and on my blog tomorrow I'll show a photograph of this to let you know what I decided to do in the end. Right, now this one is going to go on the inside, so first of all I'm going to, as I haven't cut this ready, 
I'm going to get some glue on it, wipe it off so it's not too much and then I'm using my grid paper to help me get this on straight we don't want it about there I suppose so it's just above that line there right so I'm going to cut that piece off it doesn't look as if I've Got enough glue on there? No, I haven't. I know what I'll do. This is my um, embossing tool. That's a clever idea, look at that. You see what I'm doing? Just getting some glue on the end there and good clean and I'm also going to just go along there because I can see I've got some glue I will go over this with my um, adhesive eraser once it's all dried properly, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Right, so to do these ones now, what did I do here? Let me remind myself. Right, so I had a did the two big ones at the ends. Bring back my glue. I've forgotten to do that as a I'm going to put Bermuda Bay down now, aren't I? Oh, I know what I'll do. And one down the end there as well. Um Got some nice light blue ones here, so I'm going to alternate them. I think I should have stuck to the pool party. Right, so how many little ones have we got? Enough. I think so. Got one. Two, three, right. So you need the little one, first little one in the center. Going back to Bermuda Bay. Normally, I wouldn't worry about uh, messing about with colours like this. It's just I changed my mind on the front there, so that one can go there. Another large Bermuda Bay. That one comes. It doesn't look the same size, does it? Oh, there it is, I can see. Right, now that one should be there. And then we have two small ones in between, but I want the pool party. I 
Uh, if you're bothered about um, these all being equal, then you'd need to measure where you're going to put your hearts. There we go. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Save those for something else. Right, let's move that out of the way so that I don't put my hand in it or anything. I'll just adhere this to the back. Tombow. Here we go. Again, this part you can use snail or fast fuse or tear and tape. Finally, I have this, which is a retired product. Uh, this is Paul Party Baker's Twine, um, but we do have in the catalogue um, Bermuda Bay Baker's Twine. Come on, out of the way. And then just tie it as big or as small as you want. I just felt that the uh, bars needed something to finish it off. I'll show you the first card that I did in a moment, which is the one I posted on my blog. But I wasn't happy with it because I'd used glimmer paper for the bars. And um, I think it was just too heavy. Whereas this... I wonder if I've got enough glue on there to stick this. Let's bring that back again. Yes, good. So there we go. That's my card for today. Nice and simple. Um, as I say, it's just because it was a three-step stamping. I hope that's helped you to um, sort out how you're going to be lining it up. It's lovely, lovely stamp and it really is well worth the effort doing. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this. The other one that I did is this one here, which I used Sweet Sugar Plum and Elegant Eggplant. So all the colours, they just come up so beautiful, really super. Many thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment leave them in the comments box below the video or email me at jambi at jambicards.com. I'm always very happy happy to help you. If you'd like to purchase any of the products that I featured here today, again if you go into the box below the video, there'll be a link for my 24-7 online stamping up shop. If you've enjoyed watching this video and would like to know when I upload others which is normally on Wednesdays and Sundays if you subscribe to my YouTube channel just by clicking on the subscribe button you'll be notified each time a new one goes up finally I'll put all the measurements and also the products that I've used on the screen and um, again if you can't see them um, because of whichever device you're watching on if you go to the box below Click where it says show more and that will open the box up and all the details will be in there for you. Very nice and convenient. Okay, many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.